The Belkin War is shrouded in mystery. But now, a decade after the peace accords, a portion of the records was finally released. I quickly got a hold of it. Wanting more details, I acquired information from unknown sources. There was a reason for my obsession. The roots of the war lie in the Belkin Federal Law Review that took place in 1988. Belka, suffering from economic strife, permitted its eastern territory to secede. And the Republic of Ustio was born. But Belka's economic troubles did not subside. Meanwhile, taking advantage of the situation, the world superpower Osea continued to flourish. Amidst the economic panic, an extreme right-wing party took power within Belga, aiming to restore strength and stability to the nation. And on March 25, 1995, with the discovery of natural resources in Ustio, Belka began to invade its neighbors. It was the beginning of the Belkan War. Unprepared, each country fell quickly before the might of the legendary Belkin Air Force. In just a few days, they occupied all territories except for the mountain range. In response, the occupied Ustio government military placed all their hopes on a joint operation between Osea and the foreign mercenary forces. This, of course, can be found in any history book but I noticed a strange similarity in the materials I gathered. There were several accounts about a mercenary, all followed by the code word, demon. But most of the information was incomplete. Still, I was intrigued. I decided to pursue the history of the Balkan War through this mercenary. I was certain I would find something there. Would it be the hidden truth behind the war? or just another battlefield legend. I wasn't able to meet the mercenary himself. Actually, it's questionable if he ever did exist. But thanks to some old friends in the military, I was able to track down several individuals who knew him. Soloing is one such man.